Hello, Epcot. Hi, Minnie. Come around, come around, come around. I love the day, Epcot. I'm walking backwards. <laughs> so shit. guys welcome to the next video today we're going to Epcot um, Lee's just faffing about we uh, what time is it hold on a minute it's 10 49 in the morning we are late getting up this morning we had a lie-in we slept until 9 uh, we've just started getting our bags packed Lee's just realized he's got no sun cream so he's had to go to the car um, I'm all creamed and ready got my new top on got my sketches on that I bought yesterday uh, we're just packing the bag so it is forecast rain today, so we are going to take these 99 cents ponchos that we got from Walmart the other day. Uh, GoPro, in case I go on Guardians, Lee says he's not, but we'll see. And um, essentials in his bags like battery charger, tripod, hats, things like that. So as soon as Lee comes back, we're off. Right, as well as everything that Nick just showed you, I'm putting them in bag. I'm also taking the Universal Mardi Gras um, cup thing. Water, I've filled it with water. We'll see how um, long that lasts and um, to stay cool, I mean. Look, you could take it around the park as well. Look, it's got a little thing. Do you want to carry that around park today? You can prick off. I'll leave it in car. I told you don't use it. That'll stay in car and let me use it again. No, but when I get in car, I like a nice cold drink of water. And that should help. Right, are you ready? Yep. New sketches day for us both. Very, yeah, very, comfortable. very comfortable. I've always wanted a pair of red sketches. I don't know why. Right, we're just filling the cooler with ice, so we've got some uh, more drinks for later if we need them in the car. Navigate to Epcot. Epcot, all right. First time this trip. It's taken us ages to get here this time. Mm. The last park of six. I do well, we've wish. We've not done Volcano Bay, have we? Well, no. I do wish I liked Guardians, but I don't. Men we feel all weird. Seems to be a nice, chilled day here so far. Not many people here. 29 Fingers degrees. Fingers crossed. It's 29 degrees. It's perfect. There's a little bit of a breeze, which is very, very nice. Nick's going to take his. Um, T-shirt back and decided it little tight. It was a little tight. And it's getting tighter. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna get in, um, see what you know rides we can get on. Are we gonna head round Mexico way? Are we gonna break with tradition and do the opposite way? Well, I'm not mind seeing if we can get on uh, soaring if it's not too uh, well, too we'll have long. Look at the wait times when we get in. But looking at the car park, it's it's pretty quiet today. Yeah, well, well, we knew it would be after Easter this as well. Ooh, what a real, what a real. Been on one. We have been on one, but not many. He took the uh, umbrella out of the bag and held it out in front. The machine beeped, the guy saw it and went on your way through. Yeah, I brought the uh, umbrella just in case today because it, it is um, forecast to be a bit thundery later. Yeah, we've got the ponchos though. So I'm just going to show you the one day tickets as of April 2023. Right, one day tickets there are unavailable today for Magic Kingdom. $149 for um, Epcot, $159 for Universal Studios, uh, sorry, Hollywood Studios, and $149 for Animal Kingdom. So, Man mm. Magic Kingdom sold out Not today. Sold out today, yeah. Blimey. Right, we made an error today and forgot to put magic bands on, so I'm going to try the um, the app. Apparently, you just show this. Well, it's Google Wallet. It's not Google, Google Wallet. Disney app. It's Google Wallet. You can add. Well, I will explain it when we get in. I've never done it before. Okay. No rush. Annual pass holders only, guys. Not working. Otherwise, go down here. Not great. Right. So in the uh, My Disney Experience app, you go to Mobile Pass. I think it's called. 
click on that and it adds it to either your Apple wallet or your Google wallet and then you can just use the app, you open the app, select the card and then hold it to the machine and it's just in case of you, just a replacement for your card or your magic band. beginning of Epcot for this year's Flower and Garden. I think they're all from Encanto. Are you sure? I think so. <laughs> I have seen the film. <laughs> Queue for Minnie, so that's we as far as we're going to get. like halfway around the block. <laughs> Stay still, they're not getting in background. Hi, Minnie! Right, Nick's just getting a uh, refund. We're in Gateway Gifts. I'm just going to have a look at some of the uh, stuff. Got this cup for the 100th um, celebration. Not sure I'd be asked taking that off every time I ordered a drink. 24 99 it's not a bad price actually, it's well heavy. Um, 100th um, salt dispenser. What's this thing? Is it just a magnet? Oh yeah, magnet, quite like that actually. Although we don't have anywhere to put magnets at home. I'm sure that's that t-shirt that Nick wanted. But, um, let's see what he thinks when he's got a refund on that one. Look at these. Oh, it's those, um, what do they call them again now? Munchlings. There's no point, you don't like, seem no, to like the t-shirt the They're, the all, they're odd sizes, but especially when it's that um, Gildan. I mean, this is not. But the Gildan fit yeah. is a bit odd. There's no fitting rooms here, but there is in the big uh, one in it. Oh, well, we might have a look in there then. I just picked up the Flower and Garden um, menu book. I'm not hungry at all, are you? No, not at the minute. We'll have a mooch first. Yeah, we'll have a look around. Oh, these are like the toperies and the... Let's just skip to the food, shall we? Yeah. Food's all I'm interested in. Ooh. Right, there we go. What's that? Orange bird large waffle. Oh my God, if Hannah saw that. Is it me or is there a lot less stock in here? There's a lot of open wide spaces at the minute. Okay. Last time we came in they had lots of stands. They've oh, changed quite oh, a lot of it. Listen. I like we use this music on some of our vlogs. <laughs> it's fine. There's no copyright on this. Uh, oh, well, we don't have to silence it then. A lot of it to the hundred now. The oh, yeah. t-shirts there. They just need to get the rest of it now into the um, outlets, the 50th. It's almost like, it's almost like watching a vlog back with the music oh, already on, isn't it? Do you fancy some of these? What the frick? Dungarees? Dungarees. Dungarees for men as well. Very 1980s. You're not kidding, 1980s. Yeah. Might you stick an Epcot logo on it or a 40th, 50th, 100th, whatever. Somebody will buy it. Oh, look, we've just been looking at these as well. Look, there is a lot of nice things. I want to try that boneless Korean short rib. Um, there is a lot of duplicates from last year. Yeah, look at these. And we've um, texted our friend, WhatsApped our friends, Hannah, and Francis and said, please and give us some um, suggestions on where to go. And I sent most of the Disney Experience app. We had that last year, the pineapple skewer. Gusty. Not nice. Try them, try them, try them. Don't forget you've got your glasses on your head. So They would suit you then. Yeah, free. It's the world of Wakanda uh, ears. I don't even know what Wakanda is. It's Black Panther. Never thing, seen it. I think. Oh, you can actually put it on. $75 wow. for the um, Guardians of the Galaxy hand. <laughs> oh my god, I want one even though I have absolutely no use for it. Like, I can just go like... <clears throat> Tell you what, hold on. No, the other way. Wait a minute, hold I on. I see the fingers. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so, here, there's like little couplings. I reckon you, there's clip-on lights there yeah. that you put on. Like, added extras. I can't see where they are, though. Where well, Iron Man doesn't have them on his fingers, does he? He's not Iron Man, it's that thing from Guardians of the Galaxy. What? The it's Iron Man, that? No, it's not. Are you sure? It's the big thing from Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, what do I know? Far from aware. Right, I know what it is now. It's the, um, is it, is it, it's not Thor, is it? It's Thor or something like that. Like that. He puts the five jewels on and then he can turn back time and yeah, I just like don't kill know, half the universe. I don't know where you get the jewels from, though. I don't know. I'm sure they sell them, though. So oh, shit. It's weird. You could keep that on all day. It's weird. It's the Tesseract, which I do know what it is. That's from um, all the all the Marvel films, isn't it? Really? Yeah, well, yeah, and the Guardians of the Galaxy. And um, hundred dollars for that. Hundred dollars for that, and what the original? It's there. Look, that's all it is for hundred dollars. Oh my God, it looks like something you put. Box. It looks like something Lisa had put some of her knickknacks in. <laughs> right, we found the Infinity Stones. Now we know what we're talking about. There's a demo one, so we can have a look. Once I can figure out how to open it without breaking it. You press these buttons or something. Do you? I don't know, I didn't do it. But anyway, 
in the, so in the, in the, in the Infinity Stones for the hand. So you've got to, these are $40. Oh, there you go. Plus the $75 for the hand. There you go. And then you can put them onto the hand. God, they're small. Yeah. I think I've just realised why I like Epcot because it's a no pressure park. Yeah, it's a it's just a park where you bimbo, you look at things, you eat and you drink. I mean, you do that in all Disney parks, but this, it just feels like a no yeah. pressure park. Definitely, it's just a nice little mooch around, have some snacks, look at the flowers, and look at the merch, get a couple of rides. I'm just looking at the monstrosity on the lake ahead of me, the Stargate from well, um, the show that they're removing. Yeah, they're going to get rid of that, so that'll be uh, much nicer. Well, they've dismantled most of the island now, haven't they? Right, we're just going to go through the blossoms of fragrance pre presented by Scentsy. Who loves Scentsy candle? Of all the five senses, Scentsy is most strongly connected to memory. A note of lilac and a hint of citrus. I do like the flower and garden festival because the park just looks beautiful. I mean, to be fair, it always looks beautiful. It does. It's nice it looks it's even better now, yeah. So just give us three packets of spearmint seeds to plant in our own garden when Ooh, we get back home. Maybe we can make some tea when they've, when they've grown. Well, yeah, maybe. Come on then. Sniff it. Mm. What sun is setting? No, there. Through these holes. Yeah. Oh. What sun is setting? Do you imagine when you inhale this dreamy aroma? Your mum's staircase. Yeah. It smells like your mum's staircase. That's a nice smell, that. These smell exactly the same. But now I smell that. That's a that's a bit weaker. Right, there's a citrus one, Lee's gonna smell this. Uh, I wonder what this can be. What sunny days do you remember as you savour this bright and bold blue? Well, it tells you underneath what it is anyway. Pineapple mango. It smells like... What are you doing licking it? It smells like somebody's just cleaned the bathroom with like, sith. Oh, that's... You no, that's right off. Smells like, the smells the sith. one? What special occasions do you recall as you delight in this It does bring back some kind of memories, but I don't know what it is. Let me have a sniff. These are my favourite. Oh. That's... Can you remember years ago when you used to make your own potpourri and you used to get roses and you used to put them in and dry them out? That's what it smells of. Potpourri. Go on, have a sniff. What zesty memories do the smell of citrus stir up? That's not very strong. I can't really smell that. Let me have a sniff. Maybe it's run out. Maybe. Hold on. No, you can't really smell uh, that. Oh, okay. It's like a cheap orange. Oh, I really want to try this one now. Mint Fields. Can you smell quick? Go on, have a sniff. I got it. Yeah, yeah that's two. like proper fresh mint. Just smell like, like proper fresh like mint. Like spearmint or like I, mint sauce. I, no, no, like, like the, the, the actual herb. The mint. You know, when you rub your hands on it. Let me have a sniff. I love mint. I love mint everything. Oh, spearmint. This is, so this is what it's going to grow into? Oh, yeah. That's what the um, oh yeah the little seeds was. Yeah. Let me just. Um, I absolutely it. love mint in everything, yeah. but I don't actually like the smell of real that's, mint. That's nice. No, no, you like that. It's yeah. mint. It's starting to rain. Get those ponchos out. It's coming. It's really it's starting gonna, to it's rain. go heavy really quickly. We're in the queue to uh, meet Goofy. No, we're not. <laughs> we're in the queue. Absolutely clueless. We're in the queue to meet Pluto. It's only said that because I said, oh, there's Goofy there. Pluto! Before I'd even looked. Yeah, so it's your fault. No. Oh, it's proper starting to rain now. <laughs> Come on in for the photo, Lee. <laughs> Thank you. It's started really raining now, so we're coming to the shop. We only the just made it. Well, merch. Um, look at these. Oh, Are you doing like that notebook? Is that that Wakanda again? Yeah. We've not seen that film yet, have we? No. Nope. Is that the guy that died? Yeah, we've seen the first one, we've not seen the news one. So, for fear of sounding daft, which doesn't, doesn't, it's not hard for us. Is there a film where Iron Man gives Hulk a costume? Um, I, I've not seen all the uh, Avengers films. Sure, I've seen most of them, but not all of them. It's a good idea, though, if, it, if not. I'll have to just Google it. Marvel cookie cutters. 
We even got the like the hammer. Captain America. Yeah. $24.99. Oh look at these. <laughs> Spatula. Oh well. Elaine, Elaine, our friend, um, Peter broke her no, yeah, Disney spatula. No, it wasn't a spatula, it was a spoon rest she wants. Spoon rest? Yeah. She's going to rest a spoon on that. No, that's a spatula. Is that for like getting the bacon out of your tray? Like know. your cake mix or something? And then the, uh, all the little bits. How much Ooh, like that. Oh, you get two. There's no prices on them. That's for like putting icing and frosting on a cake or even yeah. getting the ready break out of a, a bowl. Mm. How much? I'll stick with ones we've got. What is it? 14 dollars That's not bad. Those would look good on the large wall. I was just going to say, that does not match, but I don't care. I want one. Not at that price, though, but I want one. dollars Well, it comes with a free carrying case. I've got with um, Union flag on. Oh, Baza should have that. Yeah. That's just Baza's thing, but oh my god. Where would we put that? Um, down the hallway in the lodge. All right, so that's... Oh, there's two different types, then. What's... Well, how much is that one? That one... It's only 139 quid. A small plastic, that one. Well, that's fine. I can deal with plastic. Pluto's going because it's raining. Bye, Pluto. That's, we're just going to punch shells on, otherwise we're just going to be sat in all day. Right, it's stopped raining for a bit, so we're going to get our first snack from Florida Fresh. Actually, no, it's Garden Grays, but it does say Florida Fresh. Well, I can smell a barbecue. Uh, we think we're going to get uh, this blackened fish slider. It oh, sorry, it's fish? I thought it was chicken, actually. It's going to be like that, if it's a slider. Yeah. I do quite fancy that, and they're quite cheap and all, Ooh. so that kind of says to me that they're going to be tiny portions. So we're going to go for that, yeah? Well, let's, well, it's up to you. If you want that. Grilled street corn on the cob with savoury garlic spread and spicy corn chips. Oh. So we'll go for that, because okay. we had that last time. Okay. Let's go for that. That looks nice. They look massive. They look really big, don't they? That cream looks like it's melting. Oh, I think it's raining again. Oh, no. I know it's not. It's There's cold. our blackened uh, fish slide has been made. The usual Disney Epcot table of the bin. It's quite thick, actually, that fish, isn't it? I thought it was going to be yeah. like really small, but it's I think quite it's thick. like it's like a white piece Ooh. of white fish. The weather's getting a bit wild. It's very. Um, There's a storm coming. Yeah. Right. Let me go for this. Oh my God! Look at the white in there. Right. Let's Blackened try it. Blackened fish slider. Mm. The fish butty with um. I don't know whether that's sweet sauce or not. But it's definitely nice. Ooh, what's this? Well, we're drying it. Knocking all this green shit on it. You mean that rocket? Nice, really nice actually. Except the green shit. It could. Uh, on the rail, on the rail. It's gale force winds. Mm. It is a bit dry. It's very it's dry. Now. I'm gagging. Out. It needs a bit of mayo. Or like sweet chilli maybe. I thought there was some sweet chilli on it. But it was just peppers. Nice. So the barbecue smell that I could smell was actually three um, smoking barbecues where they're making the sweet corn. And then the guy here is dunking it in the uh, the seasoning and things like that. I might actually go back and get one of them. So this is where they used to have like the projection show about what Epcot was going to look like. They've um, changed it into a cafe, the Citrus Blossom. So, uh, we're so just it's going... not so much as a food bud, this one. It's like more of a full cafe. Full cafe, yeah. Well, I, de I definitely want to try the brie and the... Um, lemon rag. So you want two from this one? What were the last two I'm having? Right. Ooh, I don't know what that is. We've gone for the baked brie and the lemon meringue. Yeah. Let's have a look at this inside. But the baked brie is very small. It's quite tough as well. Are they almonds? Let's have a look inside. Almonds and blueberries. Oh, look inside. Wait a minute. Ooh. Ooh, gooey. Very gooey. Right. Let's tuck in. Let me try it. So I don't know what it's coated in. It's That's coated in some kind of citrus. That's one you can eat as well, I bet. Mm. Oh my god. Good. It's just orange. It tastes of orange cheese. Mm. Right, the lemon meringue we're going to try. Um, it's nice. Not, not special about it. It's just, a, just like a lemon meringue you would get anywhere, it's isn't nice it? It's nice though. It's not as citrusy as the, um, the cheese was. I think next I need a coffee. Ooh, yeah, drop Yeah. Yeah, wait a minute. Edible fancy, aren't they? No. <laughs> <laughs> they are, because they're edible. The taste of floral, though. Well, it's a... What did you think it was going to taste of? It's a flower. I thought it was like a, a fake flower that made with sugar. Sugar No, like it's real flowers. You can eat pearls. No, thanks. Nick's just getting a Cosmic uh, Rewind Guardians. Hopefully, a, yeah, get my name off that list. I'm not going to uh, hopefully get any uh, virtual queue. 
they open at one o'clock. Three minutes to go. Come on, come on, come on. I am not going on. Oh, it's, it's one o'clock. We don't get it, we don't get it. We might as well try. Join me, look at Oh. <laughs> 455 minute wait. Wow. I don't think so, we'll be well gone by then. Oh my goodness, we've made a merchandise purchase. Look at us. But it's not for it's us. It's a Christmas marble, <laughs> but not for us. Um, we were just video calling our friend Hannah because she loves Orange Bird and she absolutely adored this, so she asked us to get one of these. Um, I presume it's a Christmas, well, it doesn't have to be a Christmas marble, you can just hang it wherever that. And those are $24.99. Right, the rain stopped, it's actually dried up. And oh, we're well, a, it is warm actually. Chloe, and we're and a little bit stuffed, so we're going to head over to Soaring and just do a ride. Go let's, um, let's, let's, let's go down yeah. before we continue our yeah. yeah. snacking around the world. So we're not too far away, so we're going to head over there and then we'll come back and we'll carry on from Mexico. The temperature's perfect, but I don't like the look of that big grey cloud there, just well, above uh, Spaceship Earth. Me. Oh look! Actually, it's all around us. You can see um, some of the um, construction here. Disney never seems to do things very fast, do they? No, it like, took about, about six years to do Tron. By the time that building's finished, uh, Epic Universe will be open. queue for ages. I'm ready for a drink, my feet hurt, and something savoury. Finally we're moving. Right, as usual we're going to ask for B. In fact, we're on B anyway. But no we're not, we're going to go down to A. Right, go and ask him for B, Lee, we'll just wait. What an absolute fluke. There was two seats on row one on B. We got them. Perfect. We're actually, we're actually dead centre of the uh, auditorium now. And we're just about to go in. Perfect. When the doors here are wide open, please take a seat store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Did we do sorry in October? Uh, or has it been a year? I can't remember. I can't. I can't even remember doing it. Caught in October, I'm sure we did. We did. I'm sure we did. We did all six parts in October. Yeah. We kind of raced around it in like four days. Get ready. We are ready for takeoff. Right, we've been told that the honey peach cobbler freeze is very nice at the honey bistro, so we're going to try that. Shall I spice it up with some strensel? With some what? Strensel. Well, okay. Comes with it anyway. It says, doesn't it? No. Oh, all right. With the vodka is the the bottom one, blueberry vodka. Um. We'll pace ourselves. We'll pace ourselves. Well, no. Wait, yeah, go for it. Go for it. What? Which one? The alcoholic one. Well, actually, no, I'm not bothered. Just get the non-alcoholic one. Right. These are the other things you can get in the Honey Bistro. I quite fancied the sound of that, actually, but um, I'm going to save myself for somewhere else. Chicken and waffles, pollinated flatbread. We had something like that once here before. And then a Honey Mascarpone cheesecake. That would be my choice here. Okay. Update. I've just changed my mind on that. I've just seen somebody get it, and it looks really good, so I'm getting that as well. 
you, Janet. I just saw somebody get it and it looks so good. It's that one there. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. Oh, look at the flatbread. It's massive. We've tried the flatbread before. Yeah. That's right, sweet. Right, here we go. So this is, let and me just read off. it again. Um, chicken and waffles. Now we got this one and then we saw them bringing some more out which were massive. Twice the size. I almost went back but we'd already got it in his hand then so... Uh, well, for the price you should have told them. Yeah, it's fine. It looks nice. So what is it? Chicken with, let me read it out again. Crispy honey brined chicken and honey sweet cornbread waffle with whipped honey butter and spicy honey. My god, so if you don't like honey, avoid this stand. Let me try it. Let me get some of this glaze. It's sweet as hell. Is it? You can taste the sweet corn. I knew you might not like it because it's sweet and savoury together. That's no, why I love it. Well, it's, it's, like a, it's like the honey sauce. You can immediately taste the sweet corn, can't you? Yeah. Well, no, because I haven't got any waffle yet. Okay. Well, where's it gone? Mmm. The chicken is beautiful. Emily, do you want one? Mm. Oh, it's spicy. That was a good choice, definitely. Right, let's try this. So it's a what? It's a peach cobbler freeze. And you can get that with vodka, we've got it without. I don't think it didn't work well with vodka, because it tastes like a milkshake. Mm. Like literally like a milkshake. That's like a, Is it a cinnamon, good cinnamon crumb. Would you get it again? No. Ooh. Definitely like a, I can taste like the fruitiness of the peach. I can't taste anything other than like a vanilla. Mm. That's really good. Oh, it's the like crunch that. on top's better. It's just like a, a, a more liquidy version of a McDonald's um, milkshake. Yeah, we can switch to straws now instead of the spoon because it's melting in this sun. Oh, no, I don't know, there's loads there, look. Mm. We're just um, looking for our next thing and it was conveniently right there because i've seen something that i want in the book it's as if we naturally just flocked there where is it that's it there boneless um we'll the film boneless korean short rib wait a minute impossible that means it's not meat no that's not that one. Oh, is it well it's the only one they've got um no but that doesn't say impossible no, that, one? that one says impossible that as one? well it's that one boneless impossible korean short rib so is it that means it's not meat no it is that one it's just the tall one that's not it is impossible, so it means it's meat free, but I did fancy that one. I like the look of the I like the look of it. We can pretend it's We're meat. gonna try it, yeah. Let's go for it. Six dollars seventy-five. There's one thing that I've noticed, I'm sure last year, all the prices were like eight to nine dollars. Everything seems to have dropped. Maybe they're doing it in like to compete against Mardi Gras, perhaps. It wouldn't be like Disney to compete. Let's go and have a look no. at this. Wow, it's a big piece. Oh yeah, I like the look of that. Ooh. Definitely. I just saw that they do this as well. Twining's um, iced green tea with cranberry and lime, so I'm gonna get that as well. Iced green tea with cranberry, I think it is. Mmm. That's a good choice, definitely nice. Right, Nick's gonna try this impossible, boneless, obviously, Korean something or other. Let's see if it looks like meat when you cut it up. It don't feel like meat, oh Christ. Like it's toast. like a meatloaf. I know it's getting like windy. But let me hold this drink before it flies off. You can't tell that that's not meat. You like it? Is yeah. it nice though? It's not like short rib. We're gonna try this um, green shit on it. It's not green. It's yellow. Mm. That's nice. It's like tangy. It's like it's been in vinegar. Let's try that. That's really refreshing. If you got the um, one with vodka in it, it came in like a special glass. Oh yeah. I don't like ice cream normally, but that's nice. I've got to say one bad thing about these um, festivals at Disney, and Disney in general, they use so much plastic waste. And ice. I mean, they must go through thousands of forks and knives, plastic forks and knives every single day, and everything comes in plastic. Just try and remember and stick them in the recycled bins. This is where we were at this exact spot when uh, Lee's catchphrase was born. We drank the world, oh, that... didn't you? We were walking up here because it was just sunset behind us. So we are going to go and sit in the English. We're going to go and sit in the English country garden, 
and um, just let, let that digest. digest. Yeah, and then uh, we're going to check out what wait times are what, and then go and have a look. So just as a passing lead, just said we'd never eaten here. No, like, as, a, as a full sit-down meal. Scotch egg. It's like mm. I got. Um, this is the Rose and Crown, by the way. Bangers and mash, fish and chips, shepherd's, shepherd's pie. pie. So it's got all the Irish Sticky and English dishes. Pudding. No, so if I was going to eat here, I'd have a scotch egg and maybe we could have fish and chips to share. I'd have a scotch egg. Let me guess, shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie and a sticky, and toffee, a sticky pudding. toffee pudding. What are you going to have? Mint, tea and salad. Sounds good to me. We just uh, listen to the piano man and then we come out the back and got a table. It's nice and quiet back here. I've got a uh, club soda. Was that free? Yes. Club soda. If you ever just want a nice refreshing drink, just get a club soda. Uh, Nick's got a beer. I've got a harp lager. And uh, $11 for that. Look at the view. And that's a horrible, horrible view to sit and look at. Well, actually, those monstrosities that are floating now are the horrible views. Yeah, but, well, they're, going, um, they're going soon. Is this like where the, like a boat pulls up and brings people to the pub? Um, well, a boat does come down here, but I'm not sure it's there. Well, is there any gates to like, let them in? No, there isn't. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Hello. Nothing for you, I'm afraid. The rain's coming on fast and the wind's picking up. So we're uh, running around to France and trying to get in the bakery or something. Escape the rain by going into the Beauty and the Beast sing along. The next show is in one minute. Well, this wasn't on the plans. We were literally darting for France, and he just said, One minute to another to a sing along. You have to sing now. Like Beauty and the Beast. La, 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 la. Okay, you just vlog it. So, this is the actual dress that Maleficent wore in the, uh, in the movie. Which one's this? Beauty and the Beast. Which version though? I presume it's what, um, what's she called? Marnie Granger wore. And that looks like it might be pro. Oh yeah, Phantom of the Opera. We're going in. Are you excited to sing? Yeah. Taylor's oldest time. I like, I like the Beauty and the Beast song. I didn't even know that this were here. Just because I didn't even know this were here. There's so many things when you come to a theme park that you, if you end up going around like the nooks and crannies, you find something. And this is, this is like, where the hell is this in Epcot? It's massive. Absolutely massive. Right, it filled up quickly. I don't know how the hell we've managed to get a seat. But this is the size of the screen. Well, I presume it's a stage rather than a screen. And it's pretty damn full already. Very orange. Very theatrical. It is. Girls, welcome to the Beauty and the Beast singer, who is the surprise hero of our story. Get ready to sing now, next. See that girl? <coughs> I'm warming up. And she's crying village. Every day I go on before. Ah, guest. To be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we will provide the rest. Now in dessert, she'll want tea, and my dear, that's fine with me. to uh, divert the storm, it's stopped raining now. Nick's just having a look on the um, claim of all the cards. Yes, we did quite well with that, that song, I, I think. must say that the audience were very reserved. We were singing, there were a couple of women behind us, but not many other people were singing. I was saying, I wonder if that place only ever gets full when it's raining like it did then. I wonder if there's ever a time where the audience has been full and everybody's kind of embraced it and just got up and just Some. had a good old sing song. Let's have a look at his menu, so Monsieur Paul Restaurant. Well, there's no prices, that's Ooh, a, oh, that? no. oh, bloody hell. $195? You've got to be joking. No wonder it's empty. So you get all those appetizers, fish course, eh? meat course, I'd cheese. I want that to be a lifetime membership. Dessert. We'll skip that one. Snails. If you don't want to pay oh. £195, just come around the other side and to Le Chef de France and you can get like a normal menu 
entrees from £33, or oh, £25 actually. Yeah. Macaroni bad. and uh, macaroni baked with cream cheese, basically mac Not cheese. very French. Nick's cracked, he's got the poncho out. Have you seen everybody else? <laughs> they obviously know something we don't. Yeah, everybody's gone, it's actually stopped raining right now, but it's, it's not going to do it. It's going to slash it down, and you'll not get yours out in time. Well, we could always go into Nine Dragons and have food. No, I don't want Nine Dragons anymore. I've been put off it. For goodness sakes, this is the longest time it's ever taken anybody to get yeah. a poncho on. Imagine when it rains, what you're going to do. You're going to be piss wet through. It's not even raining. It's going to slash it down. Oh, lizard bench. Yeah. The famous lizard bench yeah. just there. That's the one, if you want, sure. It's that one there. This is quite a snug fit. Yeah, that's not bad for a dollar at all. The perfect, actually. Yeah. That's it, Forrest, run. You're not going to get yours out quick enough. It's, it's chucking right. it down and I'm nice and snug. What was that? I didn't start the camera in time. I said, let me put mine on now, then. Oh, finally. I do love it when he doesn't listen to me. You're going to rip it doing that. I've yeah. got it. Right, now we can go out in rain. What are you doing? <laughs> Look like a body bag. There we go, all done. Now. Right, now we can go out in wind. All protected. Oh, it's getting windy now. It's getting very windy. <laughs> I love the day that cut. I'm walking backwards. <laughs> you look like little Ed Radiner with a blue hood. I will feel cheated if we don't get another snack though. And I'm thinking maybe something sweet. Something in Germany, I think. Something chocolatey. It's falling in. <laughs> Move over. Somehow. Right, we're hiding out in Italy. Let's go to I've, lit man. I've literally just been walking down the airport with the camera up my top and my hood, because I couldn't keep my hood on. I was like literally walking around Epcot with the, the thing in my mouth like that. It was the only way to get the camera keep the camera dry. I still want a chocolate snack or something. What do you think about this food you? I was so looking forward to that last year. Don't do it. Don't do it. The Tajian season, if that's how you say it. Oh, it was awful. Salty. Really horrid. Right, we're in China, the Lotus House, and we're going to try this. Hannah recommended it, and it does look nice. Spicy mild chicken skewer with pe creamy peanut sauce. Peanut sauce. It feels like it's getting warm again now. I can see some blue sky up there. Oh my god. I knew this would be nice. I'm not sharing it. Come on, <laughs> It's not massive for one portion, but uh, I knew this would be nice. It's salty, really, really salty, like salted peanuts. It's very, very nutty. Mm. It's chicken thigh as well, it's not chicken breast. You can tell from the softness of the meat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, yeah. Is that sauce? It's beautiful. It's very salty, isn't it? it is salty, it's almost like crushed salted peanuts in like a, an oily sauce. I think this is going to be his last snack. We're going yeah. to go and try and get on. Um, Test track. We're hoping the rain's put people off. Yeah. So uh, we'll go and have a look. Right, we're here. The queues are absolutely non existent. So we're going to go on as soon as Lee. Are you taking it off? Yeah. Oh, I hope it rains when we're it's on. Getting and then warmer you... now. It's getting warmer. It is, but I hope it rains when we're on. So Nick's still got another three hours to wait for his guardians. I'm not waiting three hours. But, well, you yeah, know, we might go out and come back if you really want to go on it. Well, if you want to go on it. I'm not that bad. Right, I'm going to go for something different this time. Let's go for a, like a GP, uh, a truck. Direct the shape of your vehicle by drawing a line from one to two. Would you like to restart here? Oh, that's better. I like that. It's a bloody Jeep. I like that. Vehicle testing may be suspended at any time. Thank you for your time for any delays. Right, let me pick the wheels. Pick some paint. Bright red. Let me pick the wheels. Oh, them ones. Them ones. Oh, yeah, I love that. Oh, what like kind of accessories? Right, let's oh, have yeah, that one. That. <laughs> Friggin' hell, you can't even see. Right, let's have that. Yeah. Side. Woofers. Yeah. Top. Oh, no, I like that. That. Yeah. Rear. Oh, what about Big fin. Oh, let's have a look at that. Yeah, I quite like that, actually. 
and tail. then the tailpipe will have the big massive thing. Love that. Love that that's, freak. Love it. that's the best one I've ever done. Looks like a dinosaur. That's it, we we're ready. Let's ride. Love that. Capability 74, responsiveness 55, power 54, and efficiency 93. Seatbelt check is around the corner. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened in your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle at all times. So it's not raining outside. I don't care, to be honest. Thank you. I'm an accident. La estación de control. Monitoring road surface. See how your designs hold up now. Commencing sim car off road and extreme weather sequence. You just don't know when he's going to start. Oh, <laughs> it's first. Capability test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicles can fare when it comes to their. Is what we're driving actually. That's very nice. That is the same car as what we've got now. Oh no, it's not. That's a traverse. Ours is a terrain. Similar. Nice. Monorail, monorail. Right. Well, you only twice. I, I, only, I, got, I only got half the train. Half the train, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. So, I put my glasses on. We're out. What? We're out, and I actually absolutely love that. It's so funny sometimes how you can go on rides that you've been on for like tons of times. Sometimes you think, nah, it was a bit alright, it was alright. Then other times really? you go on and love it. And like I'll... Tower of Terror of the day. Yeah. We, we, that was like the best sequence we had. I'm just going to show you this while we're here. 65 mile an hour that went at um, the uh, Brunch Cot. We will be coming back to Epcot, so we'll try them again later. That is still our favourite snack of any festival. Fried cinnamon roll bites. We're gonna try them when we come back. Didn't you try that? I tried that and it, I didn't like it at all. That was bland. That is amazing. That is so good. It's filled with custard and um, yeah, they were really, like really good. And, and things. And everybody who's tasted them have all said it's one of the best snacks in Disney. It is by far. And so, it's only 475 yeah. as well. We're heading out and we're going back to Icon Park again. Uh, because our friends are there having a meal and a drink and they've added us onto their table. And it's not like we've eaten today, so well, I might just get an appetizer or something. Yeah, oh. um, so we're going to go uh, and uh, have a, a little drink and uh, something to eat and a little catch up. And then we're going for a meal tonight. Yes, I'm going to have a drink. You want to use that if I enter pointed it out? I'm all thirsty. Is it, is it still ice cold? Unlike in this car that's baking hot. It's not ice cold because the- Aircon, aircon. The, um, it didn't come from the fridge, did it? I can tell. Yes, it did come from the fridge. Mm. I got a full bottle out of the fridge. It's cold, but it's not ice cold. Oh, it's rubbish then, isn't it? That's why they're on sale. Have a, have a see what you think. Mm. Nah. It's all right though, for some water. So before we left, I checked on my Guardian ride, it was still showing 270 minutes. It actually went up from when I originally booked it, so I suspect that the ride had been down and they hadn't finished this morning's boarding groups. So I won't be riding that today. No. Unless we decide to come back in the yeah. next 270 we're minutes. We're going to it on for a while and then just see how it goes. And when we're driving home, we'll see. We won't be back in that quicker time, no chance. Well, you never know. Right, get us to Icon Park.
Well, if you're a bit tight and you're short on money, you could always come to Orlando and camp. Random. Somebody's literally just pitched a tent in the middle of some spare land. It's not our friends Jade, Ellen, and Alex, is it? Well, it could be. I'm not surprised if it wouldn't be Alex. Right, so if you are coming off the I-4 and you're going to Icon Park, ignore what Google says because it always takes you to the back entrance of Icon Park, which is two junctions over. So come off the I-4, turn right, you'll see McDonald's there where we were yesterday, and then turn immediately right at the lights here and follow the International Drive down. Don't listen to Google because, as I said, it will take you to the back entrance and take you around the back. So some bar steward, when we were shopping yesterday, actually dinted the car. However, we have collision damage waiver and zero excess, which is the what we always consider to be the mandatory default insurance on our cars. So we don't have to pay anything, we just literally hand it back and say nothing. Nice and quiet at Icon Park and the sun has just come out, or there's some clouds in front of us. But for now, it's out. We're making our way to Yard House. Time for beers. Right, we're in the Yard House and I've just noticed up, up here there's all these little blue windows where all the beer barrels are and then they come through the pipes and then go down to all the, the um, what do we call them, pumps um, behind the bar. Amazing. Have you not had enough food today? Wait a minute, you just scoffed all, all the pizza. they bread pudding and they've brought enough spoons for us all to try it. Mm. A bit chewy actually. Chewy. Yeah. Let's have a go. Try it. Let's have a little go. Today has been all about food again. Wait a minute. Every day since we've been here has been all about food. Let me try. Definitely a bit chewy. Nowhere near bubblegum standard. Right, we've moved from the yard house to the tin roof. It's outside, it's starting to rain again. You got your poncho? We're just underneath <laughs> enough we're cover, I think. Just underneath. Um, we were actually sat in that little bit over there, which is not open. Stacy um, opened the fence, didn't you? I did. She did. Legally. And then we got booted out. So oh, it's proper raining, proper now. raining now. Oh, wow. I can actually feel it. Oh, I, hope it, oh, I, hope it I hope it thunders. I'm getting wet now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the range of things. wrong colour. Oh no it's not, I see it. Right, we've just done in the tin roof and the yard house. We're off to Walmart now. It was very exactly. nice. I had three beers, Lee had soda waters. And um, I now want to get some hair dye for my hair. Not that I dye my hair, I just want to touch up the sides. Right, we're back in the car. I really enjoyed that actually. Um, Given the fact that we've walked around Epcot most of the day and felt a little bit tired, I thought, oh, I'm going to be like knackered doing a, a bit of a, a, a social gathering. I and mean, we've met sort of Jane and Alex now for the last three days. We saw Stacey and Peter again tonight and Stephen. And it was, really, yeah, it was, it was a nice, it was a nice get together, wasn't it? It was a very chilled day at Epcot. Like, yeah. A bit of a snack, a bit of a sit down. It didn't feel pressured and no. like stressed because we have felt it a little bit last few days. I don't know why, but we just have. Um, last night we were quite frustrated when we got back to the villa. I, we, we don't know why, We just and we said we're just going to have a day off today, and we didn't. We ended up picking the camera up this morning and, and vlogging, but um, we had a, a, long, a long sleep in, and the weather's going to be pretty pants tomorrow as well, yeah. so we need to come up with something we'll that we're going to do. Tomorrow. Well, we've got Hollywood right, Studios booked. Mm. So, I'm wasn't it down, I'm not going. So, we're going to Walmart now. We've got a lot of things that we've got on a list that we've never written down, so we'll probably forget most well, of them. About three things, really. Ponchos. What did you want some to go for? Some more ponchos, because uh, I want to get some for my mum and dad to come, because I think it's going to be raining when they get here, so yeah. I want to make sure they've got ponchos. Um, Stuff for my hair. Some more um, sun cream, because I'm running out. Sun cream. That's it. No, it isn't. There was like five, six things earlier. That's all I need. I guarantee we'll end up going back again. Maybe we'll get a treat. <laughs> Something's going off on the I-4. We've had an ambulance, two state troopers, flying past us. Google's now doubled its um, wait time. We're probably gonna get off at the next junction and try and go the roadway. Right, we've finally made it into Walmart and this place is literally like Magic Kingdom 
on a, on a busy night. It's not as bad. It was. It's worse tonight than it was on Christmas it Eve. Is. Look at it all down there. That's all the queues down there. I'm yeah, not even going to get through the till though. I'm not even sure we bother. We're going to bother when we see the queues. Uh, but anyway. This is what I've come for, I need some more sun cream, so we're getting the uh, Banana Ball Sport Ultra 50 plus and it's 55% more at the moment, it's just 9.97. So it's cheaper to get that than two bottles? Yeah. Right, let's get that. We're abandoning Walmart. I don't know what it is about this Walmart on all the... All, all oh, this though? Okay, well I need some sun cream, but it is literally like a theme park in here. Worse than Christmas Eve. Every time we come. It's just so bad, and the, not enough till gone. the tills will be coming in another hour if we... Uh, smells amazing. Come on. Put it back. <laughs> Morning. Completely just a waste of an hour. I've never seen Walmart like that ever. You would be quicker waiting for Flight of Passage than waiting for that pile of crap. I'm not coming to this We're Walmart not coming to again. this one ever anymore. Uh, ever, ever again. <laughs> ever anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, Old Lake Wilson Road is no longer our favourite Walmart. We'll just go to the one near um, Medieval Times or it's the like, Turkey Lake Road. It's like Christmas Eve in there every night. It's worse. They were literally queuing from the very end tills right down the pharmacy, almost to the back wall. I don't know what's and there were just the there. staff. There were staff walking around, just fanning around on shelves rather than getting on tills and getting customers through. So anyway, we've dumped this trolley, just left it in the middle of an aisle with the stuff in it. We'll go back another day. We will not go back another day. Not here, we'll go to another one that's we'll non-touristy. We'll go to Publix. So it must still be a holiday around here because it's just nuts. You literally couldn't move and it's like 10 minutes before they close as well. Maybe that's why it's so busy. I don't know. I just want to go home and have a coffee. Well, I wanted snacks and a, and a wax melt that I just found. It was delicious smelling. And I've had to put it back. Talk about flagging. Oh, we're absolutely knackered. Bloody cold tonight as well. And Lee's just said to me, Do you fancy making me a decaf coffee? The answer is no. Mm. Nasty. My lovely husband is making me a coffee. He only pretends to be grumpy on the uh, vlogs, he's actually very nice. I'm not, I'm really grumpy. <laughs> um, we're going to finish the vlog. We may have a day off tomorrow, we don't know, but even if we do, you'll see the next vlog as usual. Um, so Nick's got a couple of hellos to do before we finish the vlog tonight. Oh, I've just had an Hawaiian roll. And it was delicious. In fact, while you've been having those, because your face is getting more rolly and all. Says you, Wallhead. Um, right, so hello to Nigel H, um, Angela L, Molly C, um, Johan, I presume I've said that wrong, uh, Maureen F, uh, Bentley K, Natalie T, and Brooklyn L. Hi guys. What a nice name, Brooklyn. I like that name. You've all got nice names, we all have, but I like that name. Hi guys, and welcome to our community. Yes. Um, for those who are on the early tingly, early tingly, early link tier, you'll have been watching the videos well ahead of the normal channel. Yeah. And everybody else, thank you for supporting us, and I hope you're enjoying some of the perks that you've got on your tier level. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you on the next vlog. Hope you enjoyed all our snacks. Let us know in the comments below which snack you liked the best. I'm sick of eating now. If we said that every night, and it kept sitting next to me like. I'm just, I'm just about to butter this. Oh, for you sakes. Um, so you, you don't want you don't want a roll then? What? You don't want a Hawaiian roll, you just asked me to butter for you. Well, do you think it'll go well with peanut butter? Well, it's sweet, so I don't know. So we'll see you on the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. See you on the next Florida vlog. We need to go to Walmart tomorrow. Bye! We're in and out.